Hello again and welcome to another unpacking video. This time it's a package that's came from Crucial and anyone that knows the name Crucial will know that inside the packet is memory. This time the memory that I've ordered in is to upgrade the new i7 iMac that I just recently went and purchased. And the iMac comes to standard with 4GB of RAM. But as you can see in the packs here, there is two packs. And though it does say 4GB on the front, inside each pack, of course, there is two sets, which means 16GB of RAM is about to be installed into this iMac. So the reason why I got it from Crucial is I know the stuff's going to be matched, it's going to work. And to be quite honest with you, I don't want to have any problems. So let's see about installing these and see how we get on. Okay, as you can see, underneath the iMac, there is a slot. That's where the memory is going to go. Three screws that we'll need to see about removing. So let's get that done. As you can see, we've got the iMac on its back. And what we've done is, is we've raised it up so we've got easy access to the slot that's underneath. There's three Phillips screws holding that in place. So it's just a case of get the right size screwdriver. Don't use one too big or too small because these screws really, really are quite fragile. So as long as you're using the right screwdriver, take the three screws out. I'm just doing it in this way because it works for me. You'll have your own way, left to right or right to left. That's up to you. But anyway, let's get this off and we can see inside and see what awaits. Here's a quick close-up of the current memory that's inside. And that's what we're going to be removing. There's the other side. Okay, now what we need to do is pull these tabs. That will help the memory pop out. If you're going to do this, don't be scared. It does feel quite tight, but just give it a slow and gentle sort of pull. You'll feel a click and the memory will pop out. So I'll put that away somewhere safe. You can go and use that for something else. Once that one's out, we'll move on to the second one and we'll get that out, ready for the new memory to pop back in. Okay, this is the first look of the new memory. That's ready to go in. As you can see, the notch is over on the left-hand side. Just a case of positioning it next to the little slot. Gently push in and you'll just feel a click as it goes in. That's it in. And Let's get the next one. Pop that out of the packet. Nothing fancy. Once it's out, get the plastic and we're ready to go. Again, turn it around the right way and lift the plastic. Stick that in, that's fine. Give it a push. Again, you'll feel the click as it goes in correctly. And wrap the bit of plastic round, tuck it underneath, and that's it safely out the road. Now we've got that side done. Same again. We'll pop the memory open, push it in. That one there actually went in quite quick. A little bit slacker. And onto the last stick now. That will give us our final 16 gig of memory. There we go. Pop that in. Final click. Yep, double check it. Pop the plastic underneath and make sure it goes right around the bottom parts. And really that's it. And to finish things off, get the clip, position it back over. And you'll find if you pop that middle one in first, the rest are Pretty straightforward to screw in place. If you want to have a quick check on the results, go over to Xbench, check on the Intel IMAX, and you'll see the results.